All right. So as a little extra video uh, on the uh, playground assignment, uh, you've probably noticed that all of the colors are staying the bland generic blue uh, for on shape. And um, as a playground, you kind of want it to be colorful and a bit more imaginative. So there are some ways that you can actually go ahead and change the color of your different parts uh, within um, Onshape. So basically what you need to do is you need to actually change the appearance of the other uh, parts. So if you right click, um, the problem is as part of the way that we've assembled this, we don't have an option for instantly editing the appearance. But what we do have is the opportunity to edit in context, uh, basically edit it while it is still part of the assembly file. So by selecting that, it goes ahead and opens up the specific fi uh, part file okay, from the way that we've created it. And it gives us an opportunity to go ahead and update the version and go back to the assembly. So while we're able to change this, right click, down at the bottom, edit the appearance of the part, pick the color that you want it to be. So I think the slide will look pretty good in a red color, kind of a brownish, or sorry, an orange color. So we apply that, we create the version, go back to the assembly, it reloads the full assembly file, and it'll update the color. Now the downside to this is each of the primary, um, each of the primary pieces that we've put in there. So let's grab one of the crayon poles. Here, again, we need to edit in context, wait for it to pull it up, okay? edit the appearance. Let's say the crayons are going to be more of a dark blue. We'll set that, create the version and process. And those four we're able to go ahead and change. But we have to repeat the same process for each of the corner break, uh, poles that we went ahead and put in place. Okay. Now there are other ways that you can do this. Um, You'll notice that that's already there. We just need to go ahead and update that. See if that loads. And here, let's go ahead and just um, take a look. So we've selected the part, we've looked in the file. It's letting us know that there's a newer version there. We can go ahead and just update all of them. Okay. So we don't necessarily need to go through the entire reprocessing. Okay. So again, just updating all to go ahead and do that. So think about how you proceed through this. Um, you know, be nice to go ahead and add some colors to it and uh, basically take it from there in terms of uh, decorating the playgrounds that you've created. 